would you say if I told you this is probably one of the most underrated tools that I've ever owned? I think at some point we've all been at the Isle of Lowe's, walked by this and thought, nah, no way, this thing surely is not worth my money or my time. This tiny little driver actually packs a punch. Not only that, but it only weighs 1.5 pounds, possibly making this the best power to weight ratio, not just in its class, but just ever. And not just for DIY, even professionally, installing handrails, things like that in hospitals, bumper guards, places where you gotta be quiet. This is awesome for infrared work. This belt clip is the best. There is no other tool that has a better belt clip than this. That's why infrared pros choose this all around the world. I started off with the first generation of this when it was still the brushless motors. When it was still the brushed motors, now they're brushless. The other one was actually a little bit thinner, had enough power to get the job done, rock the same belt clip, and this is just a huge upgrade in every way. If you're wearing a hot suit and doing infrared work, this clip is not going to cut it. I 100% promise you. And even if you're just a technician taking off a cover panel, right? We always leave that one screw at the top. You're holding here on the dead front of your panel, your cover, whatever it is. Leave one screw up here tight. Remove all of them. Keep your hand here. This comes off of your belt hook nice and easily. It's that top left screw or top right screw, whatever it was. Sometimes maybe you leave the middle one. I don't know what you do. But this belt hook here is absolutely underrated. We haven't gotten down to the power of this, just the ergonomics, the grip, the grab. Everything about this tool is just flawless. So let's get down to the power. We've got a two and a half inch construction screw. That was just throttling the trigger about that much. It has plenty of power. We showed this on the live, but we just showed the raw power of it. We didn't really show the dexterity of it, the, the ease of use or anything like that. Of course, it's got all the settings, which the average person is not going to use, but they do come in handy. Let's see what nine will do. Let's bump that up to 11 and see what happens. The settings work really nicely. Let's go to 12, see if we can get that. Just perfect. Beautiful. The tri-light is a nice touch. It illuminates all of your workpiece. There are no shadows, like if you had a light just shining down here. The best power to weight ratio in its class. Uh, it has more than enough power to get the job done. There is no speed selections, there is no torque selections, but with that first screw that I drove, you can see where you can throttle it very nicely. Take your time doing delicate work. And you don't have a big wider grip. The batteries are by far the better design amongst the competition. This is a two. This is a three. The kit's like 120 bucks or something. It comes with two. Two amp hour batteries there. It's compact, it's light, it goes where you go. Uh, I'm gonna give this a solid nine. Very solid nine. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I know drivers aren't typically something that somebody looks up to, but I wanna show you something. We've got another compact best in its class here. This is an impact wrench with an adapter. This will bust 450 foot. It'll do anything you need to do at your house. And you can see where it's gonna to start to impact and not drive as fast as some drivers will. So that was full bore. We're gonna take this bit out. And if you're saying that the driver is slower, I got news for you. They're about the same, and this has way more power. 
and more RPM. And it's quieter. Enough said. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think.